Okay then gang, so I think we've learned enough now about the basics of object-oriented programming in PHP to put everything together that we've learned so far to create some kind of real-world example. So over the next two or three videos, we're going to create some kind of validation class which will be used to validate form fields in a form. Now to do this, we'll need a couple of different things. First of all, some kind of HTML template, the form itself, and then secondly, a validation class. So at the minute, I have this index.php file right here, which consists of an empty PHP script at the top. We're gonna go there later. And also this simple HTML template at the minute, and this is where the form is gonna go. Now, I've also linked up to a style sheet called styles.css over here, which has no styles in it whatsoever at the minute, but we will be copying and pasting some CSS from my GitHub repo into that later on so that the form doesn't look quite as cruddy in the browser. Now, I'm not gonna focus too much now on the template or the CSS because this is not an HTML or a CSS playlist. This is object-oriented programming in PHP. So we're just gonna now quickly flesh out, first of all, this form down here. So to begin with, I'll do a div. This will have a class of new hyphen user. So this will just act as a wrapper around our form so we can give it a bit of padding and whatnot later on. Then inside, we'll do an h2 first of all, which will say create new user. Then after that, we're gonna do the form itself. So let's do a form tag and the action we'll fill in later. We also need a method which will be set equal to post. Now, if you don't know how to post data from a form, so how to submit that data and how to access that data in a PHP script, then maybe you should check out my videos in the PHP for Beginners series, first of all, because I go through all of that in detail right there. I'm not gonna go through that in a lot of detail right here. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but not explain everything as we go along, because I already assume that you have a basic understanding of PHP and forms and things like that. If you don't, and you wanna check out my other playlist, with those videos, then you can click on the link which is down below. Anyway, inside this form, we need a few different fields or a couple of different fields at least. The first one we'll do is going to be for a username. Now, I'm gonna create a label for this username. We don't need the for attribute and there we'll say user name and then we need an input field for this of type text and we also need to give this a name and that is going to be username. This name attribute right here will be used when we try to access this data up here in the PHP script later on when we post that data. So that's the first form field. The second one is going to be for an email. Let me delete that for attribute again and say email. And then let's just capitalize this and underneath we'll do an input field. Now this could be of type email if we wanted to, but I don't want HTML5's special validation on the front end to interfere with the validation that we'll be doing. I just wanna concentrate on the PHP side of things for now. But in your projects, if you want them to have front end validation using HTML5's email uh, type, then you could do. So for now, let's just make this of type text and set the name equal to email. Okay, so finally, we also need some kind of button at the bottom, so input type is going to be submit. We also need to give this a value for two reasons. First of all, to show the actual text on the button itself, and secondly, so that we can check that the form has been submitted up here in the PHP later on. So let's give this a value of submit as well. And then also we need to give this a name property equal to submit. Okay, so now we have our form. Let me just save that and refresh over here and see what that looks like. Okay, it's already there. Username and email. Now what we need to do is say what happens when a user clicks on this submit button to submit the data or the form. And first of all, we need to address this thing, the action. So this action is gonna say, okay, what PHP script is going to run when a user submits? And I want this PHP script, the index.php to run because up here we're gonna have some code which will then get that data from the post global array. So what we need to do in here is say, okay, we want this page to handle the submit. Now to do that in PHP, we could hard code the page or instead we could say echo and then we want to access the super global server and inside that we want the PHP underscore self and that means the current file. So this file we're currently in. Let's close those PHP tags and now if we spell echo correctly, then when we submit this form, it's going to submit it to this file itself and we can run some script up here to check this data. So what I'm gonna do first of all is check that a user has actually submitted 
this form when this page loads because we only want to run some validation code if the user has submitted the form not if they first come to the page to load it or refresh it or something like that only if they submit now we can do that up here in php by saying if and then in there is set and we want the post array so dollar underscore post and we want to see if the submit button is set so if we click this right here then it can be accessed the value via this thing and the value is submit so if we click this then it's going to send a value of submit to this property right here and that will be true because it is set if we don't click this then this value will not be set to this thing over here so therefore this will be false so now anything inside this if block right here is only going to run if this thing is clicked so this right here this is where we would validate the entries right here now for now all i'll do is say echo and then form submitted so that we can see on a page when the form is submitted so let me save this again then i'm going to come over here and i'm going to submit this and we can see now form submitted okay so when you first go to the page then it's not going to appear because we're not submitting the form then but when we submit then we can see the form is submitted and that is the point where we're going to do all of the validation in the future for now what i'm going to do is just paste in a load of styles from my repo so let me just grab these right now bear with me we're just trying to copy all this it's not that much and it's not going to look that good but let me paste these in if you want to scrutinize these at your own leisure feel free to they are really basic styles just giving it some font family properties and background properties a bit of padding and width here and there and also the display types of the labels and the inputs set those to block so they're all on their own line a bit of margin uh, we also have a border around all of the inputs and a padding border radius to make them look a little softer and circular and then this submit button down here we give a background of coral uh, a color of white so the text is white etc etc very very simple styles if we save that though and refresh over here or let's just press continue we could click submit as well if we want to or hard refresh rather I'm going to continue now it looks a bit better okay so now we have our front end we have these two things right here but at the minute when we type something in and submit it just posts this thing to the page and that's not really what we want to do we want to take those values and start to validate them so in the next lesson what we're going to do is start to flesh out our validation class